Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to the bank money here and I'm so happy and proud to bring you guys the first ever video tutorial of the full Go Rod Crow V Easter egg. Now this tutorial for this the prerequisites are basically you need to know how to build the shield, you need to know how to feed your egg. I don't have tutorials for that on my channel, but you guys are smart, you guys know how to get these tutorials. It's super easy. So what you need is the dragon shield, you need to get your egg. You need to know how to fill that egg and get your strike, uh, your punching stuff that I'm showing right here, which is, by the way, awesome. So this is a very long, and this is actually the toughest Easter egg we've had in a very long time. I can't even remember something that was a, this difficult. The boss fight itself is very difficult. Uh, I've heard somebody just soloed it just now, so that's really impressive to have heard, but so yeah, <laughs> I'm all over the place. It's, I've been up for so many hours. I just wanted to make sure that I make this tutorial for you guys before I go to sleep. I'm definitely, I'm on my second day. I'm only 26 hours now, so I wanted to make sure I make this tutorial for you. So without further ado, I'm going to stop talking and let you guys know that this tutorial will help you everywhere and i even include the cutscene and some of the boss fights to help you guys out so the very first thing you want to do is get your six trophies that's what we're calling it as a community okay so i'm going to show you guys exactly how to get the trophy the first trophy which you need to do is you need to have your shield built and you're actually going to come to the area where we are right now at the tank at the uh tank factory so as the clip rolls on, I'm going to show you guys here. We're going to come straight to the tank factory and you're going to want to blast your shield into that pipe right there in the bottom right. All right. As this video plays, you're going to see Reed's going to come over here, blast the pipe and you get your first trophy. All right. It's trophy number one. Trophy number two is actually right across power. It's the mural on that wall there. It's a little globe like thing. You just have to shoot it. You want to go over there, pick it up. Trophy number two. Easy as that. All right. Trophy number three, you actually have to use the giant's eye beam over at the supply depot and it'll pop up right through the floor. It's a macho man. It's actually one of the uh, Panzer Soldats or the whatever, uh, Manglers, Russian Manglers. All right. So trophy number four is actually in the sewer pipes right after Pack-A-Punch. So you have to open up Pack-A-Punch uh, you don't have to get the crystal, but you see this light right here. Okay. So in theater mode, it's green. But in actual game footage, uh, this is a different clip, it's actual game footage is red. So what you want to do is while you're running down there, you want to shoot it. Now, I show this to show what exactly happens. He goes down there, he shoots it, and then out of the toilet comes the 935 symbol. So then you would just want to go back into there, collect it. Next one is actually the dragon strike. You have to use your dragon strikes. The way you get that is do I opening pack a punch. The tutorials are everywhere. So you want to use your dragon strikes here. The dragon will come fire and we got our nuke trophy. And our last trophy, we actually have to get our fist. The way you get your fist is you have to complete your egg. So you want to come down to the vault where you build a shield. You want to just sm uh, let your dragon go, punch it, and you have your sixth trophy. All right. Here comes the part where I took individually 12 hours for. It's the valve. So what you need to do is you want to blow, kill a Valkyrie around this area and that will allow the generator to turn on. But the first time you do it, the generator will automatically turn on and the valves will be lit. Now, here comes the hard part and the confusing part. And I actually have a simple solution for you guys. The way we did it, and I'm just going to leave this picture up because the way we did it was crazy. The way we did it is that we found that there were two valves that didn't have to do with anything. The first valve, which is green... And the second valve that does not affect anything. What you need to do is place yourself at the green valve, turn it, see which one changes. You have to do this with the teammates. I would not recommend this solo. Okay? I really don't even know how Reed did it. This was all him, so credit goes to him. That doesn't mean I don't have a solution for you guys. So, somebody, some genius made a website where it tells you all you have to do is input where the green one in and where the purple one in is. I'm going to leave that website in the bottom of the description. You guys can just go use that website. It works. Uh, each one is different. So trying to explain this to you is very difficult. So I'm just going to leave the website in the bottom of the description. You guys can go to that website, input which one the purple tube is in and which one the green tube is in. It'll tell you there's two solutions to it. One of the two will work. So 
After that's done, you just want to come over here, grab it, and you want to head over to this uh, power room, and you want to insert the purple codex or tube or fuse into Sophia. Now, you're going to get a set here, and you need to enter the password. The password is Kronos. You have to shoot them to turn them, and you just want to press press and hold uh, square and it'll say the password is initiated so after that's done you just want to go on the opposite side and place all your trophies once you have all 60 of your trophies you can place them and you can begin it a green light will spawn now if you do this with solo only three of these happen but if you do it with four people you have to do all six challenges so that one was the russian mangler so I've done this before, so I just headed straight to the fact, uh, tank factory, and I knew he spawns around here somewhere, and there he is. You know that's the one, because he's holding green eyes. That guy has green eyes. Now, when I did this solo, he was after me every time, but he would run away. But for some reason, with four players, he targets one person, and that one person has to take him. So, what you need to do is just take him all the way to power, make him stand on that teleporter, and he'll go in. There you go. You're done. If you step away too far, he will run away from you. So you want to stay here. You want to make sure you stay near him. Okay. That's one challenge. Second challenge is the globe. So the globe thing is actually super interesting. It's actually Gersh. So at the end of the Ascension Easter eggs, Gersh was basically, a, he wasn't a, a human at that point. He was just a being of light he just wandered the universe and we got our finally we got a call back so what you need to do is you want to find him and you just want to keep on shooting him this is a very long step it takes at least two rounds you just have to keep on shooting and keep on shooting him the reason why it takes two rounds is because when you're doing the challenges there's infinite zombies but the rounds will keep progressing so you can't hold one zombie so if we if we always said either get uh fear and headlights or the shambling one, a, de a dead man walking. So, the next one is actually the cone or the uh, the drill. The drill will spawn somewhere outside the map. As you saw on the screen, it says supply depot. So, you want to head over to the supply depot and you just want to protect it. You can shoot your wave gun. You can shoot your uh, dragon strikes. You can do whatever you want. Once it's done, you want to actually send your dragon out there. Your dragon is going to fly all the way over there. He's going to grab the part. He's going to fly all the way back, and all you have to do is grab it from him. Alright, you can leave the dragon out to do whatever you want, but you just have to send your dragon out, so make sure one of you guys have your specialist. Alright, once you grab it, you just head back towards Sophia, you want to enter it into the box, and the box will close, and you're done. Challenge number three. Okay, some of these are a little easy, they just have time. Alright, here's the challenge that gives everybody the hard time. It's the nuke. Alright, you mess up once insta down everybody if you think you don't know what it is i recommend you either go to spawn or you fly off uh, or you teleport to pack a punch then you'll be safe all right so supply depot dragon command department store armory infirmary and that so this is the one at supply depot this is the one at dragon command this is the one in uh armory it's right outside Supply Depot, right next to the Wonder Fizz machine. Then you got the one at Department Store. It's underneath the set of stairs, right when you enter the first room that you can enter in this map. All right, Infirmary is run right side, right here, right before the staircase that leads downstairs to the shield. And the last one is at the tank station next to the Gobble Gun machine. If you hit them in the correct order that was projected on the screen, you're good, and you're, you're now you don't have to do anything. If you feel like you don't. If you feel like you don't know it or your teammates messed up, I recommend you teleport right away. All right, solo, it's three minutes, but more players, it's 30 seconds. And you have 30 seconds. And if you stay here and you don't finish it, you die instantly. So that's the fourth challenge. Fifth challenge is actually the Valkyrie. Now, there's going to be a green-eyed Valkyrie with no arms. All right, he's going to come outside the map, and you have to do exactly what you did with the Wrangler. You have to send this guy to the teleporter the only way he walks is if you step in front of the green light so you have to keep on following him so at this point we were running undead man walking all the zombies are shambling and you just have to walk them all the way to there as long as you stay in front of the green light he will keep on moving we didn't even shoot him but i'm i'm assuming you could shoot him and get rid of it because one time 
we couldn't get this guy to spawn, and I think we killed him, and that's why. Maybe that was a glitch, maybe it was something else, but just take him to the teleporter, it'll go up, Sophia will take the, do all the nonsense, whatever. I'm not leaving any quotes, and you guys can figure all this out. Alright, and then you have the very last one, which is the group 935 symbol. Now, this one is so much fun, alright? So, Pack-A-Punch is awesome already. I love the way they, the Pack-A-Punch works, okay? So, there's a key card in here. You're going to uh, grab it, so Reed actually forgets to grab it, and we teleport it, so we, we have to come all the way back, right, grab it, and then you have to head to the Pack-A-Punch area. Now, in the Pack-A-Punch area, there's a room there at the bottom floor where pa Pack-A-Punch actually is. On the opposite side of where the toilet is, there's actually this thing. Everybody has to come over here and press square, just like you do the crystal. Everybody comes over here, press the square, you enter the key card, and you go in lockdown mode. Now, this lockdown mode is very different from the pack punch lockdown mode because it's just Wranglers. Wranglers? Is that what they're called? Wranglers? Panglers? Whatever, man. It's the Panzer guys. It's the Russian Manglers. Why did I say Wrangler? <laughs> the Russian Mangler. This is how you know I'm sleepy, man. So, it's just Russian Manglers. They come from each side, just like any other side. It'll be one side, then the other side, then the other side, and then it'll be all three sides. So while that's happening, you have to stay in here because you're downloading the code. All right. Once it's done, you grab the code and then you head back towards Sophia. The little compartment would open and then all you have to do is insert it and you're done with your six challenges. We've done this three times and it seems like all three times the uh, the manglers were the six challenge. So it gives you do, it, you do have time to pack a bunch of weapons and everything. So, once that's done, one of your characters, whoever inserts this, will be like, hey, what about the power core? That's what we're doing the entire time. We're trying to get a power core because Nikolai 1.0 asks us for a power core. The power core, she's actually going to open it. It's going to be on the bottom right side. You just go over there, press square, and our baby dragon's going to come in hand one more time. So, come over here, grab the power core. You want to go all the way back out to spawn, and you want to send your dragon out. Now, your dragon is actually holding it, and you can actually see... That's where Nikolai is. Nikolai 1.0. That Samantha laugh was because we got on the house and we already had all the perks. So, now, Nikolai's gonna be like, hey, I need you guys' help to fight this guy. So, you head back over and once you do that, this is what's happening. Once you give him the power core, this uh, Sophia machine will go back and then you have this grate. Now, this is a death barrier, so I recommend everybody stand in the very center. Don't even stand to the edge, all right? So you enter the sewer, and you're going to your boss fight. First time, we actually have two bosses, which was crazy. I mean, I love this thing. This was absolutely amazing, as hard as it was. But like any other boss fight, once you figure out what to do, you can do it. All right, so you want to come over here in the middle, press and hold square. The giant will shoot the beam. He will get out of the rubble, and you can. he's going to just jump right out. And there's some argument of like, hey, we, we're going to ask him for help. And he's like, what do you mean you want us to help? There's a giant dragon. That, that fire-breathing dragon that's been pissing you off the entire map, that's getting you burnt and making you, giving you burnt zombies, transit zombies that blow up and hurt you and almost put you down. It's time to kick his ass, right? All right, so time to beat him down. I'm not gonna. I didn't put the entire ba uh, boss battle. I will upload it later, raw footage of the boss battle. But basically... Nikolai is going to attack it three times with a spike. I do show that part off. So he has like a little spike. He attacks it and then we just and then you have to go ham. So I'm going to show it again in slow motion. He's going to flip his uh, mini gun or uh, the other side. He's going to get like this arc thing. It'll pop a hole or it'll damage it and then you just go ham. I recommend coming in here with three guns after taste. Uh... We did aftertaste just because you could just keep on reviving yourself over and over. And the uh, LK4, the L8, the L4 something, we have a pack a bunch. We came in here with three guns, PPSH, the uh, Dingo, and the L4. So, this you have your quote. Each person, each character has his own quote. I was Dempsey, so Dempsey's going to talk to him. I could have picked anybody, I just chose Dempsey. So... Nikolai 1.0, as we already knew from long ago, was eventually going to turn on us. Now, Nikolai 1.0's boss battle is actually the harder part, okay? We recommend you using the Wrangler, uh, the Wrangler, god damn it, the Mangler shield. So, every time you do this, you'll have a max ammo. You'll have a max ammo for Nikolai, and you'll have a max ammo for the dragon. We didn't pick up the one of the dragon, we just saved it. We recommend using monkeys, tossing out monkeys, and just focusing. So, 
There's two lights underneath the glass, and then when he tosses out his uh, other thing, you can see one light's being busted. We're just going ham, and the other light comes out when he sends out the uh, the rolling things that are from multiplayer, the rolling things that attack you. You'll see it; it'll pop up a little bit. You once you shoot that, the middle, the very center of it, will be available, and you just go ham. Everybody just starts shooting him. Bada boom, bada bing, you kill them. All right, so. You guys have already seen this cutscene. I'm just going to talk right over it. So, I do want to thank you guys all for watching right off the bat. I really appreciate it if you guys did watch this. This is the first tutorial actually up on YouTube. That's a video that shows you exactly how to do. So, if you guys could like this and share it, I'd really appreciate it. I hope this did, guy did help you. And before I do finish, I do want to give a big shout out to JC Backfire and his team for being the first in the world to do it legit. Because the other team, I'm not going to bring up anything, but they were the first people to do it legit. And I believe Mr. Dalek JD and his team were second, so congrats to them. We were actually third. That was me, Radoss in 27, Lag in 24, and QZ Knights. So we were actually the third group to actually do it legit, fourth in the world if we're not counting. But I wanted to thank all of them for helping me out. They were awesome. It was so much fun. I've been working on this. I've had, uh, what, like six hours of sleep in the past two days. And I just wanted to make sure that I sent this out to you guys. We all know this was going to happen. We all, I just thought that, see, look, theater mode glitches out. This is recording the theater. There's no gun. It just, it's so funny. But, uh, yeah. So I'm going to leave you guys with the Monty quotes just because a lot of people didn't catch those because they weren't actually in. So like if you were Richthofen, for example, QZ Knights, he was Richthofen. So he didn't actually get a chance to catch the Richthofen quotes. So if that was up to you, if you were one of the Richthofens, I'm going to leave that quote up for you. So once again, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. If this did help you, please like it and share it around with all your friends and buddies. Let them know, hey, this is how you do it. Once again... My name has been Money Talks, and I will, as always, I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace. By the way, everything's in the description for the valves. It's hell. That thing took 12 hours on its own. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Nikolai, Peace out. Pacquiao, I'm only talking to you right now. Brixhoven, he can't hear me. See, he's probably off doing his own thing right now anyway. No change there, I suppose. The good news is, you're nearly done. It'll soon be time to come to the house. But this plan, this big plan, a lot of it's been riding on Richthofen. Before he caught up with you guys, he spent years traveling, searching out just the right versions of you, the ones who held the key to closing off the other dimensions. I think you know by now exactly what that entails. Point is, he's kind of surplus to requirements these days. He's been in the house for ages, but don't tell him. Anyway, uh, it all makes sense when you get here. You'll see. Honestly, it, it, it's going to be fine. Oh, shit. I completely forgot to introduce myself. I'm Dr. Monty. Hello. So nice to see you all.